In this video, I demonstrate how you can accurately measure the four types of electromagnetic fields. So when I come to any new home, I first want to test the magnetic fields and the radio frequency. And this is because I want to check for any problems with the local electrical grid and to see if there's any major cell towers or Wi-Fi routers nearby. And if this is the case, those things are generally uh, difficult to remediate. So it would be a deal breaker for that home. Now you can see that the magnetic fields are below 0.1 milligauss here on the left. Uh, and that's ideal. If you can be below 0.1, 0.2 milligauss, that's generally a healthy situation. And most homes will be that unless there's a, a major power line nearby or wiring errors. And then for the radio frequency, uh, we're at about uh, 5 microwatts per meter squared. And with the Safe and Sound Pro, I always look at the peak on the, the top. And uh, this, is, uh, this is an ideal situation. Uh, usually you want to be below about 10 microwatts per meter squared. Uh, if you're higher than that, uh, you can use a bed canopy or any of uh, the, the shielding paint or fabrics on a, on a bedroom wall and that will really reduce the radio frequency. Then I move into electric fields and I use this gigahertz solutions meter which I have grounded out to a copper stake outside. You can also ground it into your electrical socket if it's properly grounded. And this is telling me what the electrical fields are and especially in my sleeping environment where that's important to measure. And uh, we're at about 140 volts per meter, which is really high. Uh, generally, you want to be below about 5 volts per meter, uh, sensitive people below 1 volt per meter. Now, the reason that those fields are high is because this lamp is plugged in. And when we have lamps and alarm clocks and anything plugged in near the bed at night, uh, those electric fields are going to be high. So once we unplug that, it goes down to 2 volts per meter. And if I was to turn off the uh, circuit breaker to the bedroom, it would go down even further. And again, this is ideal for sleep. And then I move into electromagnetic interference, or EMI. It's also called dirty electricity. And I use two meters for this. The first is the line EMI meter, which you can plug into an electrical outlet. And it will tell you what the EMI is on the hot wire. And in this, in this home, it's about, about 400 millivolts, which is on the high end of what you want. Uh, but once you get uh, above 1,000 millivolts, that's when you get into a situation where perhaps a neighbor has solar technology. And you might want to look at a whole house filter for that. But I, I use the AM radio more than perhaps any meter. Uh, and that's because it allows me to check the power quality in a home. And I, I use this at the circuit panel, and I test every circuit to see which ones are noisy. And that allows me to find the sources of EMI in my home and then eliminate them. So that's how I use these meters in order to check the electromagnetic fields in my home. And uh, hopefully this will help you create a uh, healthier home for you and your family.